Small Arms Research, thanks for tuning in. There are very few firearms I bring to a public shooting line that get more attention than the FM platform P90 or PS90. I'm going to show you how you can get one or a very close facsimile yourself. Stick around. If you follow the Big Shooter's channel, you know pretty well at this point that you can't have a machine gun that was manufactured after May 19th of 1986. You also know that in the case of this P90, um, that was clearly manufactured after May 19th of 1986. So the question would arise, how can I possibly own it? Um, there is a classification of firearms called short-barreled rifles. And these are semi-automatic firearms that have an overall length of less than 26 inches. And in the case of a rifle, uh, a barrel length of less than 16 inches. And the paperwork to purchase one of these is exactly the same as purchasing a machine gun. The difference is they were not banned uh, for manufacture for individual ownership like machine guns were. So any semi-automatic variant of a new full auto, uh, typically you can own yourself. Now there are several guys that are returning from overseas um, after serving this country. My hat's off to you guys, thanks for your service. Um, and I know that you'd like to own the firearms that you became so fond of um, when they were protecting your rear end. And all is not lost. Uh, if you want a full auto variant of the one that you had, one just like it, you're going to spend upwards of $15,000 or maybe more depending on the variant. Um, if you're happy having a semi-auto but is exactly the same size, um, you might be able to get away with it for $1,000 and that's because they've not been banned from manufacture. And there are a couple different routes you can go. You can either purchase one that's a short barreled rifle or you can manufacture a short barreled rifle yourself. I'll explain how. If you want to purchase a short barreled rifle, uh, the form that you use is an ATF Form 4. This is exactly the same as a machine gun. Uh, you send in a few sets of fingerprints, you send in a few passport photos, a check for $200, which is the title fee to transfer the title of this over to you, and you're good to go. If you want to make one, if you have an AR-15 that you're absolutely in love with, we'll say, and, you, and you'd like it to have a 14-inch barrel, a 10-inch barrel, or, or you know whatever, whatever you'd like to have, um, it's as simple as filling out a form that's a Form 1, has the same questions on it. When ATF approves it, cashes your check for $200 and sends you the, the form back with a tax stamp on it, then it's as simple as procuring a new upper receiver, slapping it on it, and you're good to go. So why are we featuring a PS90 uh, in this video? Well, number one, it seems to be extremely popular with people who are new uh, to the gun culture, uh, but actually have an interest in it. Uh, number two, uh, they're readily available and they're priced somewhat reasonably. Uh, number three, man, it's just a sexy gun. And uh, my father used to tell me when I was growing up uh, all the time that I, I just wasn't happy uh, unless I was screwing around with something. And uh, I always had a, a knack, I guess, for modifying things. He might, uh, <laughs> he might say for, for ruining things. Um, but thank God I did, and, and God bless my father for putting up with all that because um, it brought me to where I was today, and, uh, and that's doing Title II manufacturing for a few decades now. Uh, the, the PS90, after making it uh, a short-barreled rifle, uh, it was only a matter of time before I remanufactured it into a post-86 deal of sample machine gun. And um, there I am, screwing around with everything again. So I thought you might enjoy that one. So knowing what you know today, you can have uh, something pretty darn close to a PS90, um, much more so than something that you purchased off the shelf. It's going to look identical to this. The only difference is, yours is going to fire like this. And a full auto P90 will fire like this. If you have any friends, that have any concerns about muzzle velocity or accuracy loss due to the short barrel, you can tell them that you once saw somebody do this to a Dixie cup at 30 yards with a red dot sight. Any questions?
Well, thanks for joining us today. I certainly hope that uh, I've been able to pass along some information that you'll find useful uh, when it comes to having a, a short barrel version uh, of a machine gun that Congress has determined that, uh, that you can own. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comments, and I'll do my best to, uh, to stay with them. If I don't know the answers, I'll point you in the right direction. Uh, if you like the video, I'd like to ask you to subscribe and share it with your friends. And uh, again, till next time, have fun and be safe.